Hey guys, so uh, it's a day later today, two days later, and um, yeah, I have a hard time uploading stuff, so I still didn't succeed in uploading the video of two days ago, but uh, you just saw it, and, and this is uh, a little update, so market um, has been going up again um, from uh, 80 billion to 90 billion, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, I, I decided to, to continue to well sell strong um, so I've been selling some bite ball and I will also uh, I continue now to sell um, uh, my uh, blue magic portfolio um, my exposure to crypto uh, was around um, uh, 55% and so 45% uh, fiat uh, investments um, and uh, and this has uh, changed to now about 53% fiat investment simply because crypto went down um, but uh, I'm now gonna bump that up to about 66% fiat and so that means one third uh, 33% uh, crypto and two thirds fiat I think uh, for me that's that's the right choice because it looks more and more that we have started a bear market uh, even though uh, I think over the next one to two years uh, we will go a lot higher uh, in crypto um, uh, it looks like um, right now we will go lower uh, and uh, first and so a market cap of 90 billion is uh, well it's very, li very likely we will see a correction of uh, on average not 80 but 70 percent from the high and I think Bitcoin will do around minus 60% and altcoins, all other coins will do on average around minus 80% which brings the average of all cryptocurrencies to a correction of minus 70% and so the high was 115 billion minus 70% that's 35 billion I think we, we will see this as the low uh, just based on past uh, corrections um, um, a, a correction of on average 80% is um, well considerably less than what we have seen before uh, before um, corrections have been a lot higher uh, actually 80 to 90 percent so I think a correction now of only 70 percent is a reasonable estimate and um, and a correction of only 60 percent of Bitcoin is very reasonable because that means that the high was 3,000 minus 60 percent that's all cut a little bit more than cut into so that's not thousand five hundred dollars but uh, about thousand three hundred dollars thousand four hundred dollars uh, that will be the low in this correction then and and uh, that means from here I would two thousand three hundred so still a ways to go down but um, uh, and so yeah uh, that's why I want to go to fiat 66 percent um, uh, because I think uh, Bitcoin as well will correct um, even though it has performed very poorly in this bull market compared to uh, other cryptocurrencies um, I think the gig is up for Bitcoin um, and, 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 and um, it really um, it really uh, really has been uh, led very poorly and uh, continues to be led poorly and uh, and then so uh, due to that has lost a lot of market share uh, up to it was 39% market share uh, and, and, and so the rest 61% was uh, other cryptocurrencies now it has come back eh, from 39% to 47% again I think it will during this bear market peak out at again a majority so above 50% probably 55 maybe even 60% market dominance again for Bitcoin but that means that, uh, well, you know, uh, it will never see again the 80% dominance, dominance that we saw before this bull market. Uh, and, um, and so, um, but compared to other cryptos, it will go up. And, um, and so I think right now Bitcoin is a better investment than the other cryptocurrencies. That's why, uh, yeah, I have um, sold uh, alts for Bitcoin and, and I have now an exposure. Uh, of about 8% Bitcoin uh, but still uh, it's now like 42% or so uh, or 40% uh, other uh, coins and, and, and that's what I'm uh, busy selling for the most part not the Bitcoin part but the altcoins part I'm selling for a fiat right now 
uh, and um, and uh, let's uh, well uh, we will see how it goes um, um, it certainly can all not happen eh? and from here it can go up again when and the bull market can continue but investing is a game of odds and 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 and, and in the past um, we never saw uh, a short correction um, uh, the shortest one was in 2013 uh, and this also took six months uh, between the two bubbles uh, and so I think that's the most likely to happen right now uh, and we are almost only one month in so so I don't think uh, the bull market will start in September uh, that's uh, two months from here no I think um, it's it's possible it's all possible but the most likely is that the bull market will only start at the end of the year and until down until then it will go sideways and some from time to time some serious uh, drawdowns too uh, ending up in about uh, a 35 billion market cap but in the meantime you have new coins launching eh? and so that means that on average a market goes down from the current 85 billion to 35 billion but you have a lot of new coins launching too that take a piece of that market cap and so um, if you're investing certain coins today I think it's it's very wise to lock in profits because even though it has been considerably higher it's still very high today uh, compared to where we started and, and compared to where we will likely go um, uh, 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 in, yeah so voila that's my opinion uh, and that's why I go to a majority clearly now a majority uh, fiat and, uh, and, and, and hopefully uh, um, I will be able to buy back um, these coins cheaper uh, in a couple of months but one thing is for sure I'm not buying any crypto back uh, until it is cut in half and then cut in half eh? and we're certainly not there uh, from the high 115 billion if you cut that in half that's about 60 uh, 55 billion we're not there yet uh, we're at 85 but from there it needs to be cut in half again and so 65 cut in half is about 35 40 30 well yeah if we reach that then i will buy back uh, with the fiat i am locking in i have been locking in over the past few months and continue to lock in then i will buy back uh, but certainly not everything i'm also like investing things now that will never go back into crypto uh just to be sure uh to 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 to, to survive this uh, market even if it fails uh, in the long term uh, and, and I think it's very wise now to look at the negatives of this market, not at the positives, but the negatives. And the negatives are there. Uh, this market is, um, is uh, the leader is performing very poorly. Uh, Bitcoin, I think, um, it hasn't, it's incapable of innovating. And um, the growth in amount of real users is uh, slow very slow compared to other um, emerging uh, technologies like for example the internet at the time or the personal computer or mobile phones or uh, websites like uh, search engines or uh, trading websites like eBay um, or social networks like Facebook or uh, communication applications like WhatsApp or, or Telegram like these things grow much 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 faster than the adoption rate of Bitcoin um, and um, um, we will have to see uh, it's really not certain yet um, if, um, if if decentralized um, uh, crypt uh, cryptocurrencies even though they offer a lot of value will be able to uh, win over the mass market that's not certain yet um, the same for decentralized applications it's not certain yet it is certainly possible uh, but um, but there's a lot to be pessimistic about too uh, and, um, and 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 so right now at current valuations I think it will uh, it's it's very good to look at the negatives not at the positives at the positives uh, you should look after a few months when people are uh, starting to become pessimistic then you should look at the positives but not now bye guys so uh, guys I forgot to say something um, oh and who's here Natalie. 
<laughs> well, uh, we will ask her opinion about the matters also. But um, one thing I want to add first was that um, uh, there's one coin I've been buying just a little slowly, but that's Monero. Uh, I sold my position completely um, some months ago. Um, but today the price hasn't moved versus Bitcoin. Of course, Bitcoin has gone up so 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 in 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 fiat value Monero also went up, but just the same proportion as Bitcoin. It's now 16 something, and it was basically that also half a year ago. It peaked out at 20 something in Bitcoin uh, terms. I don't know the exact uh, values, but um, uh, and so. Um, but but yeah, the, the thing I find interesting about Monero is that um, it's one of the few coins that has a real utility, that's really used to pay for stuff. Uh, it's used on the dark market. Uh, Zcash still has to accomplish that, but will likely com accomplish that too, but it's a great accomplishment. And, and Monero had a, a big pump, uh, bef basically after Ethereum started in 2016, its big pump, after that Monero had a big pump. Um, I was uh, at, the, uh, at the center of attention in the crypto world. But since then it hasn't done much, actually nothing at all versus Bitcoin. Even though many, many, many other cryptos have gone up a lot versus Bitcoin. Uh, and this was to be expected. Monero was the best performing uh, investment in the world uh, in 2016, together with Ethereum probably, uh, uh, something like that. So, and in the crypto land too. So it was to be expected it wouldn't do much in 2017. Uh, but in the meantime, eh, all the other coins have gone up a lot and Ethereum as well has gone up a lot versus Bitcoin. So Mon Monero is one of the few coins that hasn't done anything. And so that's why I think it's an interesting buy. Even though technology wise, I'm not that big of a fan of proof of work coins. Uh, also the transaction fees uh, in Monero have gone up as is to be expected with proof of work coins. And, 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 and the lead dev is also thinking of scaling Monero in a second layer, which is also bad news. Uh, but, 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 you know, um, it's still a good buy, I think. Uh, one of the few coins that haven't, hasn't pumped in this, in this bull market. And, and so that's why I, I like it. And of course, because it has a real utility. But uh, other than that, uh, there are very few coins, I think. Maybe a few ICOs, uh, if you have a lot of knowledge on that level, you can probably still make some good investments, but for the most part, and I'm talking about 95% of the crypto market is a sell. Even great coins have a great future, like Byteball. I love that project. You should really just try the, you, to use the wallet. It's just absolutely amazing. And it has great technology. It's not a proof of work coin. It's, uh, it's also not a proof of stake coin. It uses DAG, uh, which is a new technology and uh, very promising. It's decentralized, uh, but also much more scalable. And, and the distribution model is just really working well uh, by giving free coins every month to all Bitcoin holders. Now it's about 1 million coins that are, are bit, 1 million Bitcoins that are participating in the monthly distribution. So it's getting distributed very widely. Uh, but still, I think all coins, even great coins, will suffer from the bear market uh, that uh, that is likely to come. That's why I decided to sell some Byteball too. But, my love, um, what would you recommend to uh, uh, all the viewers? Uh, they've made, uh, some of them have made great money in uh, these different coins. But yeah. now uh, the tide has turned and, 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 and it seems like... It's go the prices are going to da go down for a while. So, what would you recommend them to do? Still positive, eh? and uh, never give up. Uh, it's a part of the game. Eh? Sometimes they can, when that happens, eh? and you say, oh, "I'm gonna sell everything and uh, I'm gonna lose," but uh, they can surprise you also. You know, you can going up tomorrow, or maybe in one month, maybe in uh, three months, maybe in six months. So. Just don't give up so easily and uh, be still positive and thinking it's the game and uh, sometimes you have to lose to win. Yeah? The game can always surprise you. That's my opinion and be strong and still positive at that moment because if you panic, you can lose everything also. Hello. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I couldn't have said it better. It's a different opinion, eh? <laughs> but uh, it's a great <laughs> advice as well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, have a great remaining day. Bye. <laughs>